For this tutorial, we're going to learn about a few different zoom features that you could use while graphing on your calculator. And to do that, let's use the equation y equals negative 0.5x squared plus 5.5x. So let's first start off by graphing that on the calculator. So we'll put it into our y equals negative 0.5x squared plus 5.5x and now graph. Now at the moment, we can't see our graph too well. We could see the left side of the parabola, but we can't see the vertex or much of the right side. So one zoom feature we could use is zoom fit. Now what this zoom does is it takes our equation and it tries to put it into a, a window that will allow us to see it clearly. Now let's give it a try. So to change our zoom, we could go up to the very top button in the middle, which is zoom, and then option zero is zoom fit. So let's hit enter. Now this time, we could see most of the parabola, we could see all of the left side, and we could see the vertex, and a little bit of the right side of the parabola. But in this view, we see mostly negative values as far as our y-axis goes. And when we're working on various problems, especially word problems, we will hardly ever use negative values. So let's try a different zoom feature. Now for example, say that we don't like how this zoom turned out. We could go back to the standard window that the calculator is normally in. And that has its own zoom feature. It's called Zoom Standard. So if we go to zoom, option number six will be zoom standard. So when we hit enter, we're back where we started at the normal window. Now let's try using a different zoom feature to see if we can get a better look at this parabola. One feature we could try is zooming out. So let's go to zoom. And then option number three is zoom out. So we'll hit enter. Now for this particular zoom feature, we need to place our cursor where we want the middle of our new window to be. So say for example, we want our new window to have a middle point at about right here compared to our graph. Well, all we have to do is hit enter now. Now as you can see, that exact same spot that we clicked on earlier, that is our new center point for the window. Now currently, our window does show us our entire parabola, but there is a lot of extra space. So let's try getting rid of some of that extra space. One way that we could do that is using the zoom in feature. So let's try that out. Let's go to zoom, and then option number two is zoom in. And then kind of like with the zoom out feature, we could place our cursor where we want our middle or our center point for the new window to be. So let's say we want it about right here. We'll hit enter, and now it'll make a new window for us. And then the previous point where we placed our cursor is now the new center point for our entire window. Now at this point, we have a pretty good window to be able to see some of the critical features of our parabola. Now what if we wanted to specifically look up at our vertex area? So in this region here. Well we could try out another zoom feature to zoom in on that specific spot. And that feature is called zoom box. So let's try that one out. So we'll go to zoom and the very first option is zoom box. Now the way this one works is that we actually use our cursor to draw a box around the area we want to look at. Say we want the upper left hand corner of our new window to be where our cursor is. Well all we have to do is hit enter and then now we could drag to make the rest of our window. So whatever we have within this box that's all we're going to see in our new window after we hit enter. So say we want our new window to look like this. All we have to do from this point is hit enter and it'll create that window for us. So now we only see that section of our parabola really zooming in on the vertex. 
and then from that point you could find whatever information you may need. Now that you know several of the zoom features on your calculator, try them out to be able to get the ideal window for your particular graph. And if these zoom features don't help for your particular problem, be sure to check out our Changing Windows tutorial in order to know how to manually set the window to fit your needs.